Welcome to Venetian Soul Tarot. Today I'm back with a timeless pick a card reading and it's going to be what is the universe telling me? So I want you to cast your gaze over these cards and ask your higher self which cards have a message for you. We have pile number one, pile two, pile three and pile four. If you need to pause the video to meditate further, please do so. But for those of you who are ready, let's get started. Group number one. So for those of you who chose a par with the leopard jasper, I'm getting the sense that there's a lot of beauty and abundance that's coming towards you. I feel for a lot of you, you're very powerful in regards to manifestation, or at the very least, this point is in time is not only a period of manifestation, but I feel like you've paid off certain, with this debt paid off, I was hearing you paid off certain karmic debts, or you've been really strong and stoic in the face of lots of obstacles in regards to whatever you've been working towards or wanting to manifest and pursue. And I feel as though with this gift received, it's almost like all those blessings are coming flooding back to you but I do feel it's reflective or evident of exactly how much you've been through and I was just drawn here we have the old weight and habit of debt is lifted from you in your life I'm hearing the old weight of the karmic cycle and karmic or negative experiences is being lifted off you and for some of you I feel like your vibration has heightened because I do feel for some of you, you've had to overcome either external obstacles or just obstacles within yourself. There's a sense that you've got this warrior and fighting spirit that's enabled you to really overcome and succeed. There's a sense that it's like that really long journey or perhaps a really difficult karmic cycle that's now giving way to blessings and the light. And I'm hearing abundance beyond what you thought was possible or what you believed. And here we have dietary change. Improve your diet and your life will also improve. I'm actually hearing when I held this card, improve your thoughts. For some of you, it might be diet, but for others of you, I think it has to do with your thinking patterns. There's a sense of needing to clean, clean up your thoughts and not allow any negativity or past energies to influence this period of manifestation. And not only do we have the magician showing up, but we also have the alchemist, which for me are very similar energies. So this is what's currently happening. I think you've invested a lot of work and effort towards manifesting something or enabling something to blossom in your life. And Spirit is saying with this card, make sure you hold that vibration and you don't allow any negativity within you or don't consume anything that sets you backwards. Don't be in environments that perhaps aren't as conducive to what you desire. And with gifts received, this is what's coming in for you. I think you're turning, um, hearing turning a corner or moving into a new chapter where the light is going to be more evident. There's going to be more abundance, more blessings. Everything perhaps seems more uh, like pleasurable and enjoyable. But with self-initiation, I see that as the initiation process that comes through really difficult lessons through quite the journey. So for a lot of you, I feel as though perhaps you've had to battle yourself, battle your fears, your demons, your insecurities. There's a sense that everything that's coming towards you, you have really had to fight for or work for. And with seat of the heart, the universe is saying, stay centered in this heart space, stay in touch with your soul, your love, what brings you joy? Because there is a sense, I feel as though you're manifesting from this space. And I do believe we all do, but there's a sense that if you remain receptive to love and the purity of your soul and your soul's desires, you'll receive everything you've hoped for. Because with her grace, I'm hearing for some of you, you've learned how to come and move through life with grace. There's an ease or a, not a feminine energy, but kind of like a receptive energy that you've learned through the journey you've been on. And that grace is now radiating and it's attracting in blessings and abundance. For others of you, for me, her grace is the divine. It's the divine offering grace for everything you've learned and established and been through. I do feel like it's almost like you're coming into the fruits of your labor or success now, with the Knight of Swords, Spirit is saying not to rush in. For some of you, I was feeling something needs to be removed from the mind or the thought space. So for some of you, they're saying don't take action too quickly before you have more clarity or before your heart has made its intentions known. Rather than running away with the mind, which may lead you astray, it's saying trust in your heart. 
And with the Two of Swords, this may be concerning a particular decision, a choice between two people, two options, where to focus your energy. There's something that, uh, well, I feel like you're manifesting abundance, love, everything. It just, I just see everything coming to be. But Spirit is saying to hold your focus and really trust your heart and the, where it guides you when you're picking your path. Because with the magician, you are very powerful in regards to your energy. And I think the vision, like this pentacle for me is the right pentacle for you. So you're definitely, I feel, going in the right direction. It's just a matter of perhaps how you approach it or not allowing your mind or fear to hinder you. And I also feel this message is incredibly pertinent at this point in time because you're at that, that critical juncture or that tipping point. It's almost as though grace is going to begin to like flood uh, or come to the surface. It's the sense that whatever you wanted to manifest, it's finally going to be visible or it's finally going to come to fruition. So that's why I think spirit is saying be extra careful around your energy field, your environment, who and what you allow in, because you are going to be not only presented with everything you wanted, and I think beyond looking at these cards, but you are powerful and anything you hold in your mind may come to reality or like not in a frightening way, but they, they just want to make sure that you're focused on the positive or what you really want. Because the magician followed by the Ten of Pentacles, that's tremendous success. So for those of you that have been working on, I'm hearing a labor of love. You may have put a lot of love and effort towards a creative idea, a business. There's something I think that you've really wanted and you've worked towards and you've manifested. And I think this opportunity, this business, this creative idea is going to blossom beyond what you can conceive currently and that's why i think spirit is also saying to stay in your heart space because there's a need to stay grounded when all of this floods into your reality spirit is wanting to make sure that you've got the spiritual maturity and foundation to be able to handle this level of blessings and abundance and fulfillment and also the ten of pentacles is followed by the ace of swords which for me is remaining true to your truth uh, it's acting with integrity. It's not being swayed by the external presentation. So for a lot of you, you will be really asked and called on to maintain that that committed effort. Yes, but just your focus. Remain focused on who you are and what matters to you, like the heart of the matter. Don't become distracted. Yes, there may be abundance and opportunities that come pouring in, but make sure you remember who you are and what what matters what is inter integral to your own well-being, what fits your vision. And I'm also hearing you're going to have to learn how to cut away people and circumstances that don't serve you. So if you are flooded with opportunity, are you able to use this sword to slice away the opportunities that are not only false, but I'm hearing that would lead you astray from your heart? that won't lead you closer to your pure vision or dream. So some of these offers could almost be illusory in the sense that there's no substance behind them or these people are wanting to connect with you because of your shine and whatever you built. So there is this message here to be careful. And it's almost like instead of approaching things with like the Knight of Swords, which is very cerebral, very fast moving, Spirit wants you to approach things as the Knight of Pentacles slow, steady, methodical. Don't take a step forward until you know in your heart that that's your path or that's your opportunity or your person, because there is that risk here when this abundance and these blessings flood in for you to be led astray. It could even be like multiple romantic offers as well. And spirit is saying, make sure you trust your heart and your intuition before you move ahead and take everything very slowly, especially in romantic connections. So you have time to really ground yourself and form a foundation with your business you don't want to your business your creative ideas what your career you don't want quick risky decisions that are going to hinder you later down the track so this is very much the energy spirit is asking of you and that's followed by the ten of cups for some of you i'm hearing it's been a slow journey to love and it's almost as though spirit after this this slow steady plodding pace Spirit brings in this Ten of Cups, complete emotional fulfillment. With the Ten of Pentacles, this is probably someone that's really abundant themselves or very well established. But it's almost as though you're coming into a time where everything's like blooming. 
you're receiving the payoff. And it could have been many years that you've been working towards this business, this idea, as well as love. Because for a lot of you, I see that you're being blessed with love. If you're already in a relationship, for me, this is taking things to the next level, whatever that means for you. But there is a sense that you are going to receive everything you'd hoped for. And with the Nine of Pentacles, firstly, I think you're receiving all this because you took your own path. You followed your heart and you trusted this instinct and you went on this spiritual journey. With this warrior energy, you weren't afraid or you didn't shy away from what spirit asked of you, whether that was to really look into your own wounds and your own history and transform or whether that was to heal aspects of yourself that were blocking love and i do feel for a lot of you you've really built your own foundation and abundance first before seeking to have union with someone else there's just this sense that you took the right steps and you went step by step you didn't try to have quick success quick love things that weren't on a solid foundation and because of that spirit is bringing you in the real deal I, I just heard you're the real deal and you've developed yourself which is why people see you as this light with this integrity which is why spirit can now bring in the real thing for you in terms of career satisfaction abundance dream your dreams coming true true love you're entering a chapter where I think you won't be wanting for anything, but it's also important to not only remain grateful, but to, to stay in the heart space so the mind and ego doesn't run with it and you stay that beautiful, centered person that always follows the path of integrity. So that's all I have for you, group one. If you enjoyed the reading, please like and subscribe and I'll see you soon. Hi, group two. For those of you who chose the part with the smoky quartz, I feel as though you or the universe is telling you you're going through some sort of breaking or shift energetically. Now we do have the number 65, which adds to 11. I do feel there's a shift happening in regards to spirituality or your sense of self. I mean both. When we have a spiritual awakening, it does obviously create shifts and change changes in our own sense of identity but at the very least i am getting the sense that for a lot of you there's i was also seeing that this casing or these defenses around your heart space are being broken so for some of you you may be come like somewhat cold or guarded when it comes to sharing your heart i feel especially with others or in relationship but for some of you it's just opening your heart to yourself there's a sense that this spiritual awakening is triggering you to come back into alignment with your heart space with your core is what i'm hearing there's a breaking down of ego or defenses and i do think it's because spirit is trying to bring you in i do see counterparts here so for some of you i do think after this spiritual awakening and healing, there's some sort of connection or romance that's coming in that's very solid. Now, for some of you, I feel like you may have already met this person and you're fighting the feelings you have for them. But for most of you, I feel like this person is coming. And we also have here, admit your true feelings to yourself. Be honest with yourself. Only you know what it is that you truly desire. So that's why I was sensing that for some of you, you may actually know this person or this energy and you're almost fighting it. But for others of you, I feel like you're just, you're not fully open or receptive to the heart space, which was why I was feeling that breaking was around breaking those barriers and defenses. I feel like someone or something has triggered that, uh, has triggered those barriers. I feel like I almost am seeing visions of someone barricading themselves so others can't hurt them. And it may come in the form of ego or defense or perhaps investing yourself in work or career or other interests so you don't have to be vulnerable. But with ascension as well as the breaking, for me, this is a really strong message of spiritual awakening. And I think spirit is trying to say, can you trust them? Can you trust this process? Can you trust the journey you're on? Even if it takes you to places, perhaps you're very uncomfortable because I do see this as not only heightened consciousness, but you're coming to bear or coming to terms with everything inside of you. In particular, I feel your shadow. The, the ways you've kept yourself stuck, the ways you remove yourself from life and you don't flow or allow your heart to kind of thrive or move. There's just this sense that through this awakening and this spiritual shift and I think an opening of the heart, it creates movement in your life. I also feel snakes represent transformation, shedding old skin. So for a lot of you, you will be, it's almost like born again with a drastic, not literally, but with a drastic change in 
how you live and how you express yourself because as i was looking at these cards i feel right now you start this journey as the queen of swords someone that perhaps is very guarded has been wounded has had quite a difficult journey it may even be someone that's very analytical and cerebral like i was sensing with this emperor card that focuses on work or more practical matters to avoid the heart space and the spiritual work it's almost as though I feel you were in this position, at the very least guarded. I feel that your heart wasn't completely open. And at the end of the journey, spirit is turning you into the queen of cups. This is who you become. Someone that's more comfortable as well with feminine energy, emotional flow. Perhaps there's been some sort of healing that leads you to open your heart to others as well. You have more compassion for yourself, which grants you the ability to show compassion towards others. Because after the breaking, we have acceptance. So for a lot of you, I feel as though you're accepting yourself and accepting parts of yourself that perhaps you've been at war with. There's a sense of integration that happens through this spiritual awakening or this emotional kind of, I'm hearing emotional swelling. I just feel as though all these emotions that perhaps have been suppressed or avoided are coming to the surface and you may feel like your world is crumbling or you're literally breaking because of the changes coming in. But I do think spirit is doing it. So not only you start moving again, for a lot of you, you might have become somewhat stagnant because of that energy. But for a lot of you, there's just this sense that that heart needs to flow again and there needs to be a reverence for life and a reverence for spirit. For some of you in this initial energy, perhaps you weren't as aware or receptive to divine guidance or divine intervention, but I think your life is beginning to take a turn that's going to not only transform you in the process and your personality and identity, but transform the journey you're on and how you perceive and witness this world. I think it's like a complete awakening. And with the heart of the moment, I feel as though spirit is putting you back in touch with your heart. And just like temple, which relates to kind of having reverence for life and experiences, this is also speaking of living in the moment, being in the present, accepting the gift that's here for you now and accepting what is. So for some of you, you may have been quite analytical in regards to judging yourself or judging where you are at in life. And there's a shift that's happening that you're now able to just open from the heart space and accept that energy. I'm also noticing here how many fives we have in these three cards 65 55 and 59 so for me five is a number we have four fives there and five is a number of change and transformation and i do feel you're going through massive shifts and with the emperor I'm hearing as you go through the changes you may almost feel slightly disempowered because for some of you i feel as though you've been valuing yourself or living more from this emperor energy uh, maintaining control over your career, really val valuing your mind, physical contributions, not so much the watery energy or the spiritual waters. There's a need to kind of return to that emotionality and that essence within you. And yes, you will still be abundant and successful and you still need to live you know, and have a prosperous career, but it's almost like this energy is being tempered by this queen of cups. You're coming into alignment. And in order for that to happen, you have to kind of let down these barriers because with divine wisdom as well. So we have divine wisdom, the breaking, we have ascension. It's There's so much spiritual kind of happenings occurring, but there's been some sort of awakening or awareness on a spiritual level that's changing your life and changing you. And I do think the divine has ushered in this change and that's why they're telling you not to be afraid. Because I do think this will be a really drastic shift to what you're used to, but you come out... I'm hearing you come out more radiant and vibrant and graceful than you've ever been. And it's very much that energy I'm hearing again and being born again. Those shadows or anything that kind of held you back or left you in somewhat of a negative mindset framework, it's being released. And I was also feeling, and you're also not only opening your heart to others, but you have compassion for yourself and acceptance, which here I feel a much harsher energy. But with shadow work, it's almost like the darkness or the spiritual journey gives way to new light. It could be movement, a change in direction, a change in career. There's something that comes from this darkness or this spiritual journey that you can then share with others. It could just be that you find your happiness again. You find your inner light and that then radiates to others and brings in a really beautiful union. Because with judgment, I think you've called time on your old way of being. I think you've called time on using your mind to block out your heart and your feelings. 
Uh, I think it's an end to the darker times of life. If you've struggled with perhaps anxiety, depression, fear, it's almost as though you're healing and transforming some of those energies into more kind of high vibrational, positive, loving uh, a loving disposition but there is this sense that you are calling time i'm hearing on an old chapter you're definitely this group is starting a new life and it's a life filled with love and genuine love i feel stable love and also spiritual wisdom and spiritual knowledge i think spirit will be guiding you through this chapter and really aiding you in the process of living this life now, with the King of Cups, I do feel this is coming towards you if they haven't already. This is someone who is emotionally balanced, stable, nurturing, emotional, spiritual. There's just this sense that you almost have to go through this inner transformation. And I'm hearing become the Queen of Cups so that you can attract in the King of Cups. Because had this individual met you here when you're living as this Queen of Swords slash Emperor... Perhaps it wouldn't been, I feel the match, yes, it would still have been a divine match, but it wouldn't have taken off. It's almost as though spirit has guided you through this journey. So both of you will be at a similar awareness or be, be equally receptive is what I'm hearing. Because there is a chance if this person came too early or comes too soon, your heart will be guarded or closed. You won't perhaps appreciate this individual's emotionality or their sensitivity. It may almost appear as weakness when you're in this energy. When you blossom and you go through this journey for, as the Queen of Cups, this is when it will connect. Because with the Two of Pentacles, for some of you, I feel like you may even be inclined to not take this offer up, which is why Spirit is trying to usher in this change and transformation to make sure you don't miss the opportunity. For others of you, I feel like there's still a slight battle between light and darkness, your old self and your new self, constructing your defenses and focusing on safe things like the practical realm, career, money, or opening your heart to love, which may seem a lot riskier. There is still at the outset some sort of indecision, but I think Spirit is saying, not to write off this uh, this individual or it could for some of you be an opportunity like for example if you want to you're considering changing careers going from something that's very kind of analytical or physically based to something that's more emotive it could be that but for a lot of you I do feel it's love it has to do with releasing your defenses so that when this individual comes in you're receptive and you don't immediately write off this path because you're more comfortable maintaining in the mind or not allowing your heart to speak so that's all i have for you group two if you enjoyed the reading please like and subscribe and i'll see you soon hi group three so for those of you who chose a par with a crazy laser gate i'm getting a sense like there's really dreamy energy here so starting off we do have the ten of wands so for a lot of you i feel as though the universe is saying you just closed out a really difficult or painful chapter situation relationship there's something that i feel that was a burden to you and very heavy that you've just closed out i see through these cards a fresh beginning and a fresh beginning that has the potential to be far more satisfying and abundant than what you've experienced before but i feel as though spirit is saying before you try to make concrete steps forward it wants you to enjoy this downtime or to stay you know that there's really dreamy whimsical energy in this spread there's a sense of you staying in that dream state or keep envisioning what's possible before you make a clear decision because for a lot of you i still think you're recouping after whatever this is that ended now we have get some exercise. As your body becomes stronger, you begin to feel stronger in all ways. Now exercise can be valuable. I would also say this card, uh, I relate to being out in nature, like going for a walk, getting exercise in the, in the sunlight, being around the ocean. I just get the sense of almost needing to just be outdoors to absorb positive energy or ground yourself. So some of you may need exercise. It's a time for nurturing as well. So whether that means eating healthy or whole foods, there's just this sense of you really taking some downtime to care for yourself and recharge yourself after whatever you've closed out. I just realized, I think I said water, but they're technically clouds. But for me, when I look at it, I see the ocean. So for some of you, I feel like being around the water is really soothing. Going to the beach, having fun. There's just this energy of almost needing to retreat or recharge so that you can kind of 
not only heal and get into a really positive state, but be receptive for all the visions that come to you in regards to your next step. Now, we also have sacred destruction, which for me is associated with this Ten of Wands. I feel as though there was something that came to an end and it was divinely guided. With sacred destruction, I feel as though your soul had an input in what you wanted to leave behind or the divine led you out of a situation so that you could manifest better. For some of you, it's just the ending of a cycle in your life or a chapter and it's now time to manifest perhaps more or something better. And we also have the card of patience because as I was feeling, I think spirit wants you to sit in this almost waiting period. Take time out. Don't try to push forward. Don't take action yet. There's a really strong message of you just kind of being in your dreams, being in your thoughts, really tapping into the energy of what you want to manifest. Again, I'm drawn to greenery. So I feel there's a really strong message to be out in nature and be in the environment because I feel as though you'll receive certain spiritual truths or ideas when you're out there. I also think it brings a sense of calm. For some of you with this Ten of Wands, you may have been in a situation or environment that was very taxing on your body and very draining. And that's why you're almost needing to retreat or recharge. But as I was feeling with this card, dream a little. Spirit wants you in this energy, this whimsical, dreamy, you know, what do I want to create next? What messages are coming through? Almost like a right-brained activity. That kind of, and even in a sense, like allowing yourself to watch beautiful films that let your mind travel, beautiful music. There's a need for rest, rec uh, recharging yourself, and also some sort of inspiration. And I think for a lot of you, it could involve creativity. It's learning to just be in nature, enjoy the moment, take time away from whatever this heaviness was. And I do think for a lot of you, you're moving into a chapter where there's far more joy and abundance. I think also, if this was a painful end of some sort, there's heart healing that's occurring. There's light now that's flowing from wherever that wound initially was. So I do get a sense that spirit is guiding you. There are beautiful things coming your way, but just stay in that energy and that joy for the time being. And then we have the space between the words. And with this card as well, it's about sitting in emptiness. It's about being around nature or in a serene environment so that you can hear spirit and you can feel spirit, not just in an intellectual or cerebral way, but to really know source. So for some of you, meditation is important. And this dream a little relates. I, I just see you almost sleeping, dreaming, meditating, eating, walking, like very nurturing activities, doing yoga there's some sort of guidance here that spirit is saying really take care of yourself and allow that to flow because it's going to give way to some really beautiful changes. Now 56 adds to 11 and we have dance of the planets. So I feel as though I'm hearing that the planets are moving or the divine is orchestrating things in your favor. But for the time being, you're not going to know what that looks like and you're not meant to. You're almost in that in-between phase where one life or one cycle has fallen away, but the new, the new life hasn't emerged as of yet. There's just this sense of spirit saying, trust that, yes, things ended and happened the way they needed to. But with this wheel of fortune, everything is turning in your favor. You're being blessed for closing out an old cycle. You're receiving blessings that perhaps you've desired or no, receiving is not the right word. You will receive the blessings you've desired. But right now, it's just time to kind of heal, recharge and allow yourself to sit in this energy. Allow yourself to dream and envision what's possible because after the Wheel of Fortune, we have the moon. And for me, that's saying you're staying in this energy. So we have the dance of the planets, the moon, dream a little, the space between words. It's very kind of whimsical energy. It's spiritual. It's light. It's creative. It's peaceful. So spirit is saying, yes, this will is turning in your favor, but you might not see it yet. You might not see any evidence or tangible results of this fresh beginning as of yet, but it's almost like you're in a holding space while you heal and recharge and gain clarity on a spiritual level. Because after that, you, we have the Six of Pentacles, which for me is, yes, reciprocity, but it's things happening in the physical realm. It's things flowing towards you. So during that space, you may almost feel here with this Patience card as well, that nothing is happening. And it's not happening because it's trying to close out or clear out all of this old energy from that cycle or this experience, whatever it is for you. 
and it wants your vibration and your energy to be really positive and balanced before it starts bringing this in. Because with the full, you do have a tangible new beginning and a clean slate. So you will experience the joys of birth, I'm hearing, especially with this just for a moment joy. But you may still be with the moon wading through some shadowy energy or the last of this sacred destruction. Whatever spirit has helped you close out. There's a sense that there's a little more clearing that needs to happen in your physical body. Perhaps you may be holding certain emotions, but for others of you, it's just a clearing in regards to allowing yourself to dream or get back in touch with that soul space, back in touch with the more gentle emotional nature you have and keep dreaming bigger. Envision all the possibilities and don't just choose one. Like now is the time where you allow yourself to just daydream and wonder. Because with the Three of Pentacles, I see that once you've had this state or you've been in this state that's very receptive and you have this fresh beginning, you're going to start applying those visions that you've kind of had or developed in this energy into the physical world. It could be through a creative skill and application. It could be through a new job, new career, new home, whatever it is for you. You're investing in something that you've received inspiration or wisdom for through this period. And I, I'm hearing it's your own. So if in the past you, you whatever closed out with the Ten of Wands was like a relationship or something that helped you or led you to feel trapped, it's almost as though as that closes out, you can do and focus on the things that you enjoy that matter to you. There's a sense of finding your own voice and finding your own talents and being able to share them once that past is closed out. And you can see as well with this group, I think you will attract new connections, friendships, whatever they may be for you in this new phase. But while you're in this moon energy, in this healing space, it's not yet time because if you were to draw people in during this period, they wouldn't be a match for your vibration or the direction you're moving in. So spirit is almost seizing action and asking you to be patient while you heal. Because for some of you, there is this risk of this devil energy, fears, doubts, addiction, whatever hasn't been helping you. And I mean, for some of you, it could be issues with diet or physicality of some sort. But spirit is asking you not to bring that energy forward. And in order for that to happen, you have to fully heal and transform or allow spirit to do its work is what I'm hearing. Because this energy here is very receptive. It's not the sense of you forcing healing. It's the sense that spirit is already doing and moving through you. It's asking you to allow it and to surrender. Surrender any darkness, surrender fears, surrender anything that keeps you trapped. Because as you do so, and you really develop your skills and invest in yourself and your path, you have wish fulfillment. You receive your desires, you manifest perhaps beautiful, loving relationships, your creative ideas or business ideas come to fruition, or you have a successful career life. There's just a sense that spirit is leading you and setting you up for this, but just trust the process. Trust that it's all working in your favor, even if you can't see it right now. You are moving towards better times and you are closing out a chapter that was perhaps difficult, negative or fear based. You're moving into a higher frequency and vibration precisely so you can have this life. You can have your dreams. And that's why I think they were saying don't limit your dreams. Don't choose just one thing because you can have all nine cups. So that may pertain to don't just focus on, you know, having a creative idea. Also, you're manifesting love or you're manifesting beautiful friendships. For me, this represents having everything across the board. It represents spirit saying that it's not preparing just one or two cups for you. It's preparing nine so don't limit yourself and don't allow this past kind of devil energy or fear to lead you to believe you can't have this wish fulfillment. So that's all I have for you, group three. If you enjoyed the reading, please like and subscribe and I'll see you soon. Hi, group number four. So for those of you who chose the pile with the Amatrine, I'm getting a sense that for a lot of you, you've had to walk away from something or leave something behind that perhaps ended badly or not in the way you expected like in truth i think everything ends you know with divine guidance or in divine form but there's a sense of the five of pentacles and the five of swords there may have been a sense of being left out or you've been or you've missed some sort of opportunity perhaps in love i'm feeling especially but with this card, we also have walk away. So for some of you, you walked away from someone and perhaps were disappointed in their behavior or how things manifested. 
So we have leave the unhealthy situation and enjoy the new doors that open as a result. So spirit is really affirming and the universe is saying that you did the right thing or ending this and walking away is the right thing. There's just this sense that you're moving away from something that was perhaps quite negative and that left you feeling unstable, I'm hearing. But it was also something that triggered tremendous wisdom within you. So there is this sense of, yes, maybe that was a lesson or it was someone that came into your life that represented some sort of karmic learning. But you also have been presented with so much wisdom now that spirit wants you to be able to see that, to see the blessing in regards to what has happened. And with this card as well, we have the burning hero. So for some of you, there's almost this sense that in order to become the hero, you had to walk through the fire. In order for you to manifest what you're desiring, you had to have this experience and then have it end is what I'm hearing because it's triggered some sort of learning within yourself and wisdom in regards to life that enables you to step into a higher frequency, a higher expression and just create better for yourself. And with Spiral Dance of the Goddess, first of all, we have 29, Master Number 11. But I also feel as though it, you may have been left feeling like you're spinning when it ended. I just keep seeing someone like twirling or spinning or feeling ungrounded. I think there was also whoever or whatever you left behind left you feeling ungrounded. There's a sense that you were wanting more or you were hoping for some sort of stability with this person and they weren't quite able to deliver it. I'm almost hearing that even though it may have left you feeling that way, you rediscovered yourself as a goddess. And I just saw 222 as I said that. But I feel as though there was something in this experience that it needed to end or one or both of you needed to walk away so that you could reclaim your own worth. So you could become the hero I'm hearing of your own story. And then we have Legacy of Light. And this card is my favorite in this Oracle deck because it's about creating a beautiful legacy and contribution. So for some of you, the ending of this makes you realize your own worth and your own value and what you want to create in the world. It awakens you to perhaps your mission, your creative talents and ideas, whatever it is that you can manifest. It's almost as though perhaps this ending pointed you in a completely new direction that is going to grant you so much abundance and joy. And I think perhaps that's why the universe and the divine has orchestrated this. So I think they're saying, make sure you keep focus on this light that's going to come through this ending or through this apparent loss because spirit is saying to me that it wasn't a loss it was a blessing it was a gift and for some of you it almost you had to go through the flames to be able to reawaken your heart and spirit so we have drop into your heart for a lot of you although this may have been painful and it may have been a difficult ending for the mind to accept especially it reawakened your heart this is someone that perhaps came in temporarily to trigger something and shift something inside of you that would then perhaps change your direction or change your focus of manifestation. If that pertains to love, this person has triggered you to change the type of person you go after or the type of relationship that you believe you can have. There's just this sense that there has been a shift, but it's a shift that's really helping you manifest and live from that heart space. And next we also have the pillar. And for me, this is stability. This is what you're coming towards. Stability within yourself and within your perhaps own heightened version of your worth and your contribution or your life purpose, but also stability in relationships. Whatever you closed out, I think not only was it not stable, but it wasn't fulfilling. So Spirit is saying part of why this wasn't a loss is because of how much more you can now receive. And I do think whatever's coming in is of a higher caliber or has the ability to make you far happier than what you would have settled for. And it's funny that this card shows up and underneath we have marriage. The fairies join you in celebrating wedding bliss or wedded bliss. So there is a sense here that this is a type of connection you're coming towards, but I also think it's stability and marriage within yourself. For some of you, it's marriage in regards to your own divine destiny and your soul and your life purpose. But for a lot of you, I do feel there's a joint message here around uh, attracting a solid love partner and connection. And it's very much this need as well to kind of surrender this type of energy, feeling left out, feeling rejected, feeling like others won't want you. I think spirit is lifting your sight to focus on your own contribution and the things you want to create in the world and also see yourself as this goddess or see yourself 
with the unlimited potential that spirit perceives within you. There's a sense that perhaps you weren't seeing the full picture of who you were, which is why perhaps you settled for a connection or something that was unhealthy or didn't fully serve you. For others of you, I just think this connection came about to teach you wisdom and to lead you towards this life purpose or to change your mind enough that you could call in and attract your true life partner. But there is a sense here too with the five of swords of staying and looking at what you missed of what went wrong of regret nostalgia i think spirit is not wanting you to stay too long in this energy yes you need to heal and take that time to kind of grieve and let go but spirit is also asking you to continue moving forward with love continue i'm hearing walking your own path and mission with self-love with recognizing your own worth because after that we also have the card of temperance finding balance uh, i'm with this card i'm also drawn to you glowing you being abundant your light being radiant so there's a sense that you're coming into this energy and spirit is encouraging that because you are on track and you are following your own path, even if it has taken you into some very uncomfortable or difficult paths or passages. And with the eight of cups, it's asking spirit is asking you to fully walk away. Not you may have physically walked away or you may physically walk away, but have you left behind these thought patterns, these feelings, these ideas? Spirit doesn't want those outdated patterns to influence or hinder a fresh beginning because you are heading towards something that's very stable and very balanced, something that you've been wanting. And for a lot of you, I do feel it's to do with a solid life partner and potential marriage partner, if that's what you desire. There is this sense that you have to leave behind old beliefs or feelings relative to what you've had in the past because what's coming in your future is going to satisfy you. With the Eight of Cups, it's often a sense of disappointment or not being fulfilled. And I think wherever you were, even if there's a part of you that still holds to that, I don't think it was satisfying. And with the Seven of Wands, stop fighting. I'm hearing that the war is over, whatever that means. There's a sense that whatever was happening the conflict the disappointment it's done and spirits asking if you can put it to rest completely if you can heal if you can transform those emotions and also don't fight yourself for some of you you're still carrying some of these thought patterns or belief beliefs that are hindering how you see yourself and in order for this new chapter to be successful and for you to manifest everything you desire you have to see yourself in a higher light and see a vision or hold a vision of what's available for you. Don't, if you hold any of this past in your vibration or your mind, that's what's going to almost contaminate the future or carry with you at the very least. And Spirit is saying you have a clean slate and it's time to really receive. Because with the Page of Pentacles, for me, this is a new life for you. It could be a new sense of mission and what you want to manifest in the physical world. I do see more abundance coming in, more stability. That's another thing. The Page of Pentacles is very stable. It's a new beginning you can trust. And I think in the past, perhaps there were things that you couldn't trust or you couldn't build upon. There's a sense for a lot of you that you're coming into a much more stable time in your life where you won't be left kind of spinning or wondering. There, there isn't that energy of confusion or someone not being forthright in perhaps what they want, how they feel, what they desire. You're re and I'm also drawn to this person reaching up. You're reaching up to a higher level of consciousness, more abundance, more love, more commitment, whatever it is, everything's being elevated. And that's why I think the universe is saying not to carry these old energies into the future because it may hinder you from reaching and receiving this pinnacle. And I do think it's so funny because we have the pillar and then we have the hierophant and marriage next to each other. So this is a really strong reading in regards to not only developing a solid foundation for yourself and in your life, but a solid union, a solid relationship, perhaps marriage, family, if that's what you desire, whatever it is for you. There's a sense that this energy is what's coming in. And I think this stability, it almost leads you to gain greater balance within yourself. But with this temperance card, you need to gain that balance first to be able to attract in this offer. This type of energy isn't congruent with this. You can't receive this without fully closing the door emotionally and mentally and spiritually on what has been. Because I do think there's something beautiful coming towards you. For some of you, you may be attracting a Taurus or an Earth sign 
fathers of you, Sagittarius might be prominent or you may be a Sagittarius, but I'm feeling as though there's this energy of stability and of finally receiving what you desire as you close out the chapter. And the universe is saying, this is exactly what you deserve. And this is your divine partner rather than this type of energy. So if you are still feeling disappointment or loss, Spirit is asking you to look up, to elevate your vision, not only to your own value and worth, but what you really deserve because it is coming towards you. So that's all I have for you, group four. If you enjoyed the reading, please like and subscribe and I'll see you soon.